Hey everyone, Matt Sosman here. I wanna show you how you can prevent users from copying data out of Slack when they're accessing Slack from a web browser on a personal device. So let's take a look at what I'm talking about here. Okay, so if we're in order to this to work properly, we have to add Slack as an enterprise application to Azure Active Directory. And once I do that, I have to then set up single sign-on for Slack. So see my other video for that. And then I come in, I cre create a new conditional access policy for Slack. And now this is scoped for demo purposes to a single user. It's scoped to a single application, Slack, that we've already added. And then no conditions. We're just granting access, but under session, we're gonna check the box to use conditional access app control and use custom policy and then save and make sure that's enabled. Now, once I do that, if I come into Cloud App Security here, our CASB product, I'm gonna create a session policy that's going to block activities, and my filter is set to Slack, activity type equals cut copy item, and if the device does not equal compliant domain joined and valid client certificate. So what this is saying is that if you try to copy data out of Slack and you're not on a managed device, then block that activity from happening and create an alert. Now, I'm gonna show you a demo here in just a moment, but what this would look like is if we go over to alerts, here you can see an alert was generated when somebody tried to do this, Megan, and I can drill into that alert to investigate. And then in the activity log, I will also see it pull, uh, pop up here. So let's switch over and let's take a look at this happening on a personal device. Okay, so here we are inside Slack and I'm logged in. I wanna point something out. Notice in the address bar up here, it says cas.ms as the domain. So we're actually, actually routing the data through a Microsoft data center through our session proxy capability and Cloud App Security before we route it to Slack. And that's gonna allow us to control the session. So here we have some sample text inside Slack. So let's go ahead and highlight this text, right click, and we're gonna choose copy. And we're gonna to try to copy that text and exfiltrate it out of this environment on my personal Mac, my personal device. So highlight it, right click, choose copy, Boom, stopped my tracks. Action has been blocked. Copying data out of Slack is prohibited when accessing Slack from a personal device. That's my custom message that I created in the policy. So there you have it, folks. Let's try that again. Highlight, here, let's, let's highlight something else. Let's highlight this right here. Right click, choose copy. Boom, action is blocked. Okay, folks, well, I hope you found value in this video. We just taught you how to block the ability to copy text out of Slack. Now, I wanna call something out here that this is only possible when it's using the web browser version of the app, and in this case, the web browser version of Slack. And that's because we're doing session control uh, through a, a session proxy with Cloud App Security. We cannot do this with the desktop version, so I just wanna make sure I call that out. Anyway, if you have questions, reach out to me on LinkedIn, put the comments down below in the video, and by all means, stay happy, stay healthy, stay safe, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.